Welcome everyone to our new Meet the Members series. I'm your host, Aaron Kirk Douglas, Chair of the University Club Entertainment Committee. With me today is Amy Lynn Johnson. If you haven't had a chance to get to know Amy yet, it's because she happened to join just recently during the pandemic. Welcome, Amy, and thank you for agreeing to join me today. Hi, Aaron, thank you. So to acquaint our audience with the format of these interviews, they'll typically run 10 to 20 minutes in a Q&A format. And you and I have reviewed and agreed on the questions in advance. So my job is not to surprise you, but to help our members learn more about each other. So we all feel comfortable saying hello when we see each other around the club. So first, a series of rapid fire questions. Introvert, okay, I'm, ready. I'm ready. ready. Yep. All right. Introvert or extrovert, which are oh, you? Extrovert by far. Okay. Favorite color? Purple. Okay, name the favorite thing of that color. Um, oh my gosh, usually it's my hair, actually. <laughs> okay, favorite place in the world? Montana. Favorite food? Uh, anything cheese or any kind of cheese or anything with cheese in it. Wine, beer, or spirits? Spirits, usually, depending on my mood. Okay, and gin, whiskey, vodka, which is your favorite? Um, again, totally mood dependent, but I generally like anything with vodka. Okay. So now on to some serious things. I'm going to ask you a very simple open-ended question. Amy Johnson, what is your story? <laughs> uh, okay. So, uh, Gosh, I guess the Reader's Digest version. I am a Portland native. I grew up um, in Southeast Portland and graduated from David Douglas High School. So uh, I am definitely an East Sider. Um, I am very community engaged. So for the last 25 years, I've been involved in the Portland Rose Festival. I love Portland. Um, I spend a lot of time working there, playing there, pre-pandemic, obviously. Um, I am a people person, so I generally am much better than six degrees of Kevin Bacon. It's usually two degrees of the Amy Johnson, because if I don't know someone, then I know someone who knows someone. Um, I have a couple of kids. They are 10 and a half and almost 13. Uh, we have gotten to know each other very well over the last year, which is both a blessing and a curse. My husband is a Portland police officer. And so the last year has been incredibly intense, but I funnel all of that intensity into doing my community work, which is through my organization, Face-to-Face uh, -face Portland. And now I'm thinking of all these things I left out. I love to okay. garden. Okay. So uh, I think last summer, I had the most insane pandemic garden. I had to stop planting tomato plants at about 27. Uh, so needless <laughs> to say, our every neighbor in the neighborhood had uh, overflowing tomatoes and I couldn't can them fast enough. And I also love to cook. So my hidden talent slash superpower is I can make anything out of leftovers. So I can open the fridge, and see the things that are in there and I can create something that usually my family will happily sit down and eat. All right. So what do you most hope to get out of joining the university club? I love people so much. And so the opportunity to meet people in an environment where that's encouraged and um, in a space that is beautiful and it's safe and I have a lot of opportunity to interact with all kinds of different people. That is what I'm most looking forward to. All right. And I know you've been to the UC as a guest prior to joining uh, just this month. Um, what have been your favorite things to do so far? Um, everything. <laughs> I, that's, I don't know, that's probably not the answer you're looking for, but Every, I just, I enjoy being around people and I enjoy celebrating uh, anything and everything. So from the dinners, uh, the more formal dinners that I've gone to, 
the, um, I've been to a couple of piano events, which I love because my husband is a classically trained pianist to the, uh, the really crazy nights, uh, late Friday nights where we did the white party, um, and just other things where you can kind of let loose and dance. I love all of those. Oh, awesome. Well, you'll be, you'll be perfect fit then. Um, from what you've heard, uh, or about what you've already experienced in your visits, what do you most look forward to at the university club in 2021? Um, well, in 2021, I most look forward to being around other human beings uh, who aren't related to me. While I love them very much, uh, it'll be a nice respite to just get out and um, be in a different space outside of my four walls. Mm -hmm. But really, it goes back to the people. I'm so excited to meet people. And when you're you know, going to a restaurant or a bar, I'm always the weird person that turns and talks to the person sitting next to me and not everyone is looking for that. But my experience at the university club is that every time I've done that, the person sitting next to me is excited to talk back. So hmm. I just am looking forward to connecting with people. Good. Uh, and now a few of our stock questions. If you had to make an alias for yourself, what would it be and why? So I could go down the rabbit hole um, I, so my name, I am very generic. I'm Amy Johnson, otherwise known as the Amy Johnson, because you'll meet many Amy Johnsons in your life, but there's only one, the Amy. So I would keep my name because that's an easy one, but I have always had this secret desire to be an FBI agent. Oh. I'm way too old to do that now. Cause I think they stop hiring people. Uh -huh. You can't get hired after the age of 35 right. or something exactly. like that. Yeah, um, I'm living a little bit vicariously. I'm actually attending the FBI Citizens Academy right now. So I uh, get to meet a lot of FBI agents and get some education and background on that. But I just have always had this desire to be um, like an undercover FBI agent. So I would be, you know, special agent Amy Johnson uh, <laughs> in, in my fantasy life. Okay. Um, what is the most useless talent that you have? So I had to ask my husband this question because I really, I sat and thought about it and can't think of anything. And he, his answer to me was that I am very efficient. So all of my talents uh, have some sort of efficiency tied to it. So none of them are useless. Oh, okay. Uh, but right. I don't know if this is useless, but I am skilled at vacuuming quickly and efficiently. So I don't know, that's sort of useless, especially when you have pre-teenage children to do those things, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm a great vacuumer. Now, just between you and me, is there something about you that most people don't know? Oh my gosh, there are, there, there are many things that people don't know about me, but what is appropriate to share? <laughs> um, actually, a lot of people don't know that I, uh, am a Rose Festival princess from 1996. So I was the only the fourth princess for my high school because we had just been included in the Portland city limits four years before. Okay. And a lot of people remember me even from that far back because I had a shaved head and I was the <laughs> festival princess every elected with a shaved head. And now my head is half shaved. So, you know, I've uh, grown my hair out a little bit. Things evolve. Yes, but I also didn't get a crown because there was no Wouldn't place fit. to attach the crown to my head. Uh, so that's, I talk about that sometimes and that's why I love the Rose Festival so much, but you know, I don't have like a t-shirt or a no. sash that says, you know, Rose Festival that's princess. That's, that's hilarious. Um, if you could only eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Gosh, I think that that changes, but lately, my go-to, which I could eat every day, is some sort of like a salmon bowl with kimchi. Nice. So I have been, I've been teaching my kids how to cook. And so we created this salmon recipe that is brown sugar, soy sauce, and garlic. And so it gets very tasty and crispy. And then we toss it in a bowl with like whatever veggies we have in the fridge. And I load it with kimchi. So current go-to food is kimchi. All right. And finally... The last question for you today is when we have our next karaoke night, what song will you sing? 
um, I will pay somebody else <laughs> to sing a song because nobody wants me singing uh, at all. I I have I can't even do karaoke with my my children. I they would vouch for me that I am so terrible that nobody wants me singing. All right. Well, but you'll still come and support the other singing. Oh my gosh, I will come and I will cheer and I will recommend songs and I will encourage other people. All right. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Amy Lynn Johnson, member of the University Club, please join me in welcoming her next time that you see her around the club. <laughs>